think the best takeaway is that there are no simple solutions to complex problems. As soon as I heard about it, I was like, oh my god, I need to do this, but I have no clue what a hackathon is. So I had never participated in any sort of hackathon, and I thought hackathons were only for like hacking on computers. And I was a little nervous, like I consider myself kind of an introvert. I'm like one of those people where I'm like kind of scared sometimes, and like even though I'm still scared, I feel like I do gain confidence at these events. Talking to new people, presenting, public speaking. The courage of these teams, the courage of these folks standing up, pitching their ideas, is the, probably the most amazing part about all this. I never had the opportunity to do this kind of thing when I was in school. It just makes me think of things in new ways. I hadn't thought it was something that colleges like vet schools and others would get involved with, but now that I've attended, I can absolutely see the application. I was with a group of people that I, I didn't know, and I love that this allows us to meet people from different colleges. There were so many students that came here that were not veterinarians. The engineers and the business students and the PhD folks. And I think about me being a veterinary student and never once walking into those buildings. And I don't think I ever would. So I'm really, my you know, kudos hats off to those students that came here. And my, my uh, plug would be for veterinary students to get involved in other hackathons to put their piece into as well. Really stretch the comfort zone. And that, that's inspiring, right? Because I think any of us coming we're a few years out, we're doing our other businesses and we have our own experiences, but that you see the energy of that and the sort of problems it could solve. And then you think you of taking that to bigger corporations and companies and saying, maybe this is a, a sort of methodology they should be approaching and injecting into their own businesses. There were so many mentors. I felt like we were just overwhelmed with all of the support and advice and that was really encouraging to see that even though these people are out busy having successful careers they still wanted to interact with students and help them develop their ideas and it was great. My favorite part about the hackathon was the mentors probably. At one point we got on stage and got the mic and was like hello anyone who has ever worked with a cat please meet us in the corner and we had like 10 mentors and did like a Q&A panel with them real quick so it was really great to have people who are where I want to be, giving us advice and sharing with us their experiences. I loved that last year I became close with a lot of them and then saw them again this time around and I feel like it really built those relationships and I really appreciate all the work that they put in to help us out. The most fun thing for me has been seeing the energy and to see how much they can come up with in you know 36 hours. At the hackathon you have two days to create something from nothing so it's a lot of fast decisions and you have to make the decision and stick by it. I kind of felt like the hackathon was like the first place where I could really bring together interests of mine. I thought I'd have to wait till after I graduated from vet school to do that. The hackathon has allowed me to mesh them together. My favorite part of the hackathon is probably just team building. I think I ha struggle with like talking to people and like breaking out of my shell and so being out of state from where I normally am and just interacting with completely brand new people I think that was the best experience for me. I had fun and I made friends doing it. Just go for it, because especially if it's something that you're interested in. For me, the animal health hackathon was like, I need to do this and I'm going to figure out a way to do this, so just go for it. I actually convinced so many people this year to do it. Uh, just that it's so much fun, um, you know, not to take it too seriously, but it's, even if you don't have an idea, just show up and see if someone else has an idea that you really like. Uh, or even, it's kind of fun just to form your own idea once you get a group together. And just see what happens, because really great things can come out of it, and it'll end up surprising yourself. I think I'm going to take away how to think outside of my little veterinary North Carolina student box. Think about outside of my own discipline, think outside of my culture, think outside of my country, and just see how I can extend what I can do. I leave here inspired, hoping a lot of these veterinarians will one day I get to work with. But I think the biggest takeaway is I'm seeing a, an appreciation for the marriage of business with veterinary medicine. It's encouraging that a company like mine can come and be a part of this. It's an honor and uh, I love to think that we can uh, give them a few ideas that, that get them set for the real world when they get out of here. Cornell was always the school that I wanted to go to for vet school, so just being with the vet students and meeting the faculty, it was such an amazing experience, and it was like really nice. It was like a welcome to the community.